What's going on guys? Dragas here and welcome to Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. Now this is the newest train mechanic game made by Playway, same people behind Car Mechanic Simulator, which was actually a really, really good simulator, and that's why I'm playing this one, because A, I know nothing about trains and I'm interested in learning about them, and B, they have a good track record of decent simulation games in the past. So I did play it a little bit and I was impressed with it, so we're gonna have an episode or two here just to see what it's all about, have some fun, and uh, yeah, fix up some trains. So let's uh, start a new game here. Ah, uh, yes, we don't want the previous save, but as I said, I did play a little bit just to learn how to play. Welcome to the game Train Mechanic 2017. You are a train mechanic and your task will be to repair rail vehicles in three different workshops. Under your care will be both Archaic and simple steam engines as well as very modern electric locomotives. Each locomotive will be assigned to a garage adapted to repair its respective type. Good luck. All right, so we got three different places we can go to in this game. You actually can drive on the track, so you can see I can exit from garage and you can go to the different workshops, depending on what you do. I believe this is kind of the old steam engine-like uh, train, so uh, yes, I'm just gonna get my grips here. This is the hydraulics workbench, we got the mechanics workbench, and we got the electrical workbench. I think that is more or less it. And then over here we got our office where we can accept different job offerings. And I think that's more or less it in this one. So uh, yeah, let's get a train in here and uh, see if we can fix this thing. So we can go over here, we can just hit M2, but I, I feel like going over to my desk. I feel like it's a little bit more real. Welcome to the work order acceptance system here. We'll be able to accept work missions, yada, yada, yada. Get the idea. Job order number one. Welcome to the game 2017. Your first mission will be a simple train repair so you can be Become familiar with the basics of the game. Your task will be repairing a locomotive in which steel and rubber springs in the front truck have been damaged. Alright, so we got some front springs that we need to fix. Here it comes in. Oh yeah, nice little cutscene and everything there. So the front motor truck, on uh, this mode you can strip down locomotives taking apart all their available components, yada yada yada, okay. Uh, we need to do conditioning, so if we do something here, uh, we got hydraulic brakes, we need to find... The rubber spring, so steel and rubber spring. So if we go over to this, no, I don't want to take it apart. Hold on here. I think we need to go to testing mode, yes, and that's going to tell us the condition. In this mode, you can check the condition of various parts. Okay, so that was a little confusing because there's a condition button as well. But if we hover over this, all right, that one's good. This one is red, so that one's bad, and this one is red. I think that should be... Well, we can check this one, too, just in case. I think it only said there was two, though. So, yes, we need to repair these ones. So, we'll go to disassembly. We will take this bad boy off, and just like Car Mechanic, you actually need to unscrew all the bolts and everything, which is really cool to me. And this camera angle is actually really good at doing this, so... Take off this one, take off that one. There we go, we got the spring. So, we need to take off the hydraulic... I just want to take off this. Okay, so yeah, there's four bolts on this one because it's connected to the hydraulic. All right, there we go. We got our two parts. Now let's go, let's actually exit out of this. And if we go over to our workbenches over here, I don't know which one we should use. Electrical, it's definitely not electrical. It's probably mechanics. Hi oh, actually it might be hydraulics. I don't even know. Uh, working, uh, wrong, oh, wrong workbench, okay. Okay, so it's definitely mechanics, that makes a little bit more sense, so we can repair this. The cost of these things are $3,000 and $4,000, holy crap. We have a 100% chance to repair it, so we may as well do that. And wow, okay, train parts are expensive, guys. I, I kind of expected that, I didn't expect this little part to be so much money, though. So there we go, the part is fully functional, so... In this regard, you can actually repair the parts, sometimes you have to buy totally new parts, which you go to the, uh... I believe if you go over to this, you can actually browse it. There's there's some way to browse the computer. Oh, actually, I think if we open up the tablet, yes, the tablet is your information center here. You can start online stores with parts, yada, 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 so you can buy engine parts and everything. You cannot browse Twitter, unfortunately, though. Uh, there's also parts warehouse. I'm assuming this is just my inventory. Yes, okay. So I'm just getting used to this game once again. Uh, let's go back and put these things back on, and that should be it for this build. All right, so we go to installation mode, and as you can see, there's little circles, or sorry, not circles, there's like little invisible items for the items that you need to install, which I'm assuming when this gets a little bit more complex will be so damn amazing. So uh, I guess it doesn't matter which one goes where, so we will bolt that thing back up and put the other one on, and we should be good to roll off 
with this thing. And the final bolt. Look at that. I don't know if we have to... Do we Do we have to test it? Uh, testing just tells us the wear and tear of the whole thing. So let's just actually quickly go through here. I know it's probably... The only issue was the springs, but just to be safe, we'll check a few of these things. And yeah, everything is green, so everything should be fine. Uh, looks like everything is already repaired. You can finish the task from the work order sheet. You can find new work orders on the order table in the office. Okay, so we're going to hit job order here. We are going to say finish order, and bam. 750 bucks in our pocket. Not too bad. Actually, do we get more? I think we got paid 750 for that. Yes, as you can see, there we go. All right, let's do one more work order, and then we'll get out of this uh, work yard and go and see if we can maybe do the other ones. I don't know if we can because it's early into the game. We might, we're maybe supposed to stay here. I don't know, but I, I want to try and go around and see what we can find. Uh, the driver complains about a faulty brake system. Locate the cause of the defect and make repairs. This work order is slightly more difficult. Remember that each part is repaired on a different workbench. If you are not able to repair the part yourself, you can buy a new part from the store using the tablet. All right, so let's accept that. This one, he's got some brake issues, so I'm gonna go immediately to the rail wheels. I don't even know what they are. All right, let's check out the motor truck. Obviously, the wheels are here. The issues are probably gonna be here, so uh, we're in testing mode right now. Uh, first of all, let's touch the wheels, wheel axles. Uh, is there hydraulic brake piston? Okay, so it, it is for the brakes, so maybe something here. I, well, I At the end of this, we'll probably just green everything, to be honest. Oh, it's in the front truck! Okay, so maybe let's actually make sure we're... I think we're in the back, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay, so I probably should have read that first. Uh, the issue is in the front truck, so let's try this again. I'm assuming it has to do with these uh, hydraulic brake pistons or something. Maybe not. Uh, let's go with all the hydraulics here just to see if there's any issues with that system. All right, there we go. We got a faulty hydraulic brake piston, as I assume, so maybe it's all brake pistons. Let's check out this one. That one's actually okay. There's another one down here. Uh, maybe it's just one. I highly doubt it, though. There's There's got to be another issue here. All right, maybe the arm as well, because that's connected to it. Yes, and then the brake caliper as well. Yeah, we found the three parts. Okay, so that's the major issue right there. I think that should be all of it. Uh, and it makes sense because they're all connected together. So let's uh, figure out what we need here. We need a hydraulic brake piston, a caliper brake arm, and also a brake caliper. Okay. So first of all, what we're going to do is go into disassembly mode and we're going to see if we can repair some of these. Some of these we might need to actually buy. So uh, I just want to... Do I have to take it off from this side first? Yes, it looks like I do. So we'll take that off. There we go. That part's removed. Now we just need to take this part off. Can I... Can I please take it off? Okay, maybe I can do the piston now? No, it looks like... Okay, this thing's shining, so I think I need to actually remove all of this. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, I may need to take off this piece to actually take off the... Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I can take off the hydraulic brake hoses. Those were in the way. Now, assuming we got everything, we might actually need to take off this top part, too. Oh, nope, there we go. You can see I can get rid of the hydraulic now, so let's do that. There we go. So sometimes taking these things apart, obviously you gotta take off other components as well. Now this one... Oh, okay. So now I can take off that big bolt and take that whole thing out. Alright, so we got all our parts now. Let's go see if we can repair them. Alright, should be mechanics once again. So I can repair the caliper arm, so uh, let's do that. 376 bucks. That should hopefully work. The part is fully functional. Chances 31% on the caliper. Is that... Okay, well obviously I think I should try it. 31% though, man. That's not too much. Alright, I'm feeling lucky. Let's do a little bit of gambling, guys. Here we go. Okay, status 25%. Chance of success 31. Come on, baby. Come on. 31%? Let's do it. Oh, god damn it. Okay, so I think we need to buy a brake caliper now. That was expensive, actually. I spent a thousand bucks trying to fix that part. And what's the other one? So we have the piston here. Chances of 31% again. Is it really worth it? I mean, it costs $2,952. I think it's probably better than buying the part. So let's try this out again. Oh, man. Please, just one of them work for me. Oh, for fuck's sakes, man. This is why I don't go gambling. This is a bad idea. Attempt to repair it completed. Okay, can we go back and try and repair again? No. Okay, as you can see. So we need a brake caliper and a hydraulic brake piston, unfortunately. 
All right, so there's our brake caliper. I probably should have looked at prices first because it's not that expensive. So we're gonna add the cart with that. And we also need the hydraulic brake piston for $4,000. So 5.5. Oh, all right, we're gonna order that up. Ooh, uh, count status after work order. I'm down to 5,700 bucks. I think it's gonna be worth it though. Let's try it out. All right, so now we got our parts and we can actually repair this. I wonder if I can sell, I'm assuming I can sell the old parts because uh, I definitely, going to want to get some money off of all right so we're reinstalling everything the brake hose can't forget about that there we go that's back on and then we just need the brake caliper arm there we go and i think that's just one bolt for that whole thing all right there we go i think are we done it, it didn't tell me this time i'm pretty sure we did we're, we're done though so let's go to job order uh yes we're gonna finish that order and there she goes. All right, so we did it right. Income, oh man, I did not earn that much money considering I spent a lot of money there. To be fair, I think he had to pay for those items anyway. So we're gonna hit continue here. I, I actually should probably pay attention to my money. So is there any way to actually look at it? Improve the workshop? Ooh, screw gun. Oh, this is cool. There's different upgrades. I can upgrade my workbenches. I can upgrade my screw as well. All right, that's kind of cool. All right, our next work order, job order number three. Sometimes the task will involve finding and repairing locomotives that were damaged somewhere on the routes of the game world and then towing them off to the appropriate workshop. So we're doing a tow job, quite literally. For this purpose, you'll use a special repair train. This time, a diesel locomotive broke down on in square D1. Locate it and tow it to the workshop. We suspect a truck failure. Okay, so gotta remember square D1, and we get to go out there, guys. We get to go out into the real world and experience it. All right, find the locomotive in square D1 and tow it to the workshop. Okay, D1, D1. All right, I gotta figure out, first of all, how to work this thing, so... We are currently, all right, here's D, right here, and one is way up in the northern boundary of the east, so we gotta go, the best way is probably just to go all the way around this thing. Oh yeah, we, 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 we got a little bit of an adventure to go on, guys. It's on the other side of the map, this should be interesting. All right, let's just go for a little ride then, shall we? Oh god, okay, so this is the intersections of the railroad track. You can actually switch lanes, just as you do in real life. Uh, can I actually rotate this zoom out? Yes, there we go. You can see my beautiful train here. I think I think we're already going the right way. Uh, you can see on the map the different connections. It's actually really informative, which is cool. So we're gonna go. Uh, what we want to do in port is change east port to the other way. So east port, we're going to change the other way. There we go. That's going to bring us up to the top. Now the next one, east suburban station. Uh, I guess it doesn't go as all the way up to the northern boundary. So we have to wait to go through a few more stations probably to actually do that one. So let's just enjoy the scenery right now. And man, we are flying with this thing. Oh man, I, I wonder if there's train derailments. That, that would be awesome. Uh, I, I, I guess we can figure that out later on. Okay, so uh, South Electric Engine Depot. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, it's slowly routing our coordinates here. So we need to go to D1, which is right exactly where we're heading to. We're actually making a quick time here. We're, we're, we're going full throttle, 75 kilometers an hour. So, yeah, makes sense. Holy shit, that turn. I felt like we took that turn a little bit too hard. Okay, we should be getting close, though. So let's actually slow down. I, I, would, I would hate to crash into the train. So we're going to uh, slow down these engines a little bit. Actually, how, how do I brake? Uh, okay, space to brake. Uh, we, we also have a horn. Oh, yeah, and I can see a big glowy thing on my map. That is probably the train that we need. Okay, so let's uh, get back to my thing. We need to go. Oh, we need to figure out. Oh, shit, we went too far. Okay, back up, back up. Hit those brakes. There we go, because we need to go back to this connection. Flip that connection around because it's actually up top here. All right, so put this bad boy into reverse. We're going to have to pass that connector. Uh, which shouldn't take too long here. The northern boundary of the east. And then go around that little island. This is a beautiful map. Like, I'm impressed for a simple little, you know, mechanic game. The fact that you can even drive around these engines is pretty damn cool. Okay, we're going way too fast again. Slow down, and we can flip this thing around now. Okay, so what we want to do is flip this one northern boundary of the east, flip it to the other way. Can you actually see the uh, railroad track move? It's hard to tell, but now we should be going in the right direction, so we'll speed it up just a little bit. I mean, obviously, our thing isn't too far away, so we should be going, yes, as I assumed, the right way now. Look at that little house on that mountain there. <laughs> what, an, what an interesting choice of placement. 
Okay, and I don't see any trains or anything. Not that I can... Oh, God, there is a train. Okay. Uh, thankfully, there was a little cutscene there, and we didn't crash right into it. That would have been kind of fun, though. So we have them connected to me, so we just need to go back now. Tow the train to the diesel train depot, which is where we were currently, I believe. So the electric one is here. This is where we go for electric trains. Uh, the diesel one is all the way down here. So we just want to do basically the same thing, but going backwards. All right, and as you can see, we're making our way back to uh, the diesel engine depot. You can see that I think the uh, train's actually wrapped with some sort of fastener on it. I don't know why. I I'm assuming, I, I guess it's uh, tracks did break, so maybe it has something to do with that. I don't know. Anyways, we're making pretty good time here. We should get back to the depot in no time at all. You can see we don't even have to play with the connections because this is where we came from. So they're already all set up for us. So this should be easy enough. Let's get back in and see if we can fix up this one. All right, I see the green glowy light. I don't know how fast we need to... Oh, God, okay. We should probably slow down a little bit because it's... Uh, we're coming in pretty damn hot here, but we should be able to hit the brakes. Let's hit the brakes now. There we go. And perfect. Look at that. It's like I know what I'm doing here. Damaged vehicle had been restored properly and towed into the workshop. Okay, thanks. That I, I, I'm assuming I got to fix it now, though. Yep, there it is inside the workshop, and it is time to fix it. So we found it, now we just need to fix it. Just as expected, the problem proved to be a damaged transmissions in the truck. Remove and replace them. Task income, 250 bucks. So estimated cost of the order, $87,000. Holy shit. So yes, this is their money I'm spending, which is obviously a very good thing, because I don't have to worry about repairing now and maybe actually failing it. So... We need to figure out where the transmissions are. All right, so it said it was in the truck, so I don't think it's connected to the engine. Again, I don't know too much about cars or trains for that matter, guys, so I'm gonna do my best here. Let's find the transmission, and I, I would assume it'd be by the engine though, but I might be wrong. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. So the drive gear uh, is totally destroyed here. The electric motor cover seems to be all right. Uh, but yes, it's it's these drive gears in here that are the issue. We got brake calipers. We've already dealt with those before. So is it the other one as well? We got one more drive. Oh, I thought we had another drive gear. Uh, maybe we... Oh, it's on the other side. I'm an idiot. Okay, so this one should be yes right as well. Let's go to the front truck just to see if these ones are affected as well because I have no idea. So let's check it out. No, drive gears over here seem to be okay. So at least we've pinpointed the problem. Now we gotta fix that bad boy. All right, how the hell are we gonna remove these ones? I think I'm gonna have to remove a lot of things. So we're gonna disassembly mode. Uh, ooh, electric motor tip shaft. Okay, maybe we should check these two. I didn't even notice that little part in there. So we're gonna go to testing mode and we'll see, is it green? Yes, it is. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything then. Uh, rotor shaft as well, is that okay? Yeah, it's just these two items. All right, so to get rid of this, we need to get rid of that. To get rid of that, can we actually... Okay, we can remove that, and now... Oh, that, it was, it's that easy? Okay, I expected to have to take apart half of this thing. All right, let's actually test once again. Okay, we did test that. Uh, I just want to make sure, you know, after the issues we had in Revhead, I want to make sure that we fix these things right. So, yeah, everything is fine over here. Everything should be fine over here as well, aside from the obvious red parts. Uh, so we'll take that part out and uh, see if we can repair these things. Hopefully we get lucky this time. All right, so remove that. Remove that. There we go. We got the items that we need. Let's go and see if we can repair them. So it should be in mechanics once again. What's our chance to repair? 5%. Oh, man, am I feeling really lucky? Is, is it worth 41000 to try? I don't think it is, guys. I really don't think it is. Let's actually check my tablet and see how much these things are. So I forget what they're called, but I should see them in the list here. Uh, okay, so it's the drive gear for 46,000 bucks. So we have a 5% chance to save like 5,000 bucks. Is that really worth it? I don't think so. We're gonna add two of these to the card. That's $92,000. What, what was actually our expected spending? I'm actually curious about that, uh, just to see if this is the way to do it. So. Bonus for low cost, uh, 87400 would be uh, the low cost. Estimated cost of the order is 87400 So that was, that sounded about right. All right, I keep forgetting it's in my tablet, not my computer. So there we go. We'll open up this again. And 92000 Okay, so we could do the 5% chance and get that bonus for low cost, but I think it's probably smarter just to order this because 5% is damn near impossible. 
Unless it's free to repair. I think it is free to repair, isn't it? Shit. Okay, it's just confusing because it's saying the cost, but, uh, wait. It does say the cost for these, too, and I really wish it would show me my money because th this is the most confusing part. Okay, here's my cash. I could find it in the Improve the Workshop, so I have $12.50 right now. So we're, we're, we're gonna test out something here because there was a cheap repair, 89 bucks. So if I change from $12.50 when I repair this, uh, we're just gonna do him a, a favor and repair this. Then we know I'm spending money to repair because it doesn't really explain that. So we'll open this up, we'll go to Improve the Workshop, and I still have $12.50, so yes, repairing is free. Which is really fucking confusing, considering it says the cost of the item. Alright, so let's try here. We'll see if we can maybe sell one of these at, at worst case. I mean, they're worth a lot of money anyways. Failed. The part is even more damaged. Okay. I kind of expected that. Let's try one more time, though. Come on, baby. Let's do this thing. Ah, okay. Well, clearly this is why, once again, I don't gamble. Because I never win. Regardless, it's good we figured that out anyway, so we know that repairing is free now, so it doesn't hurt to try it. What, what am I doing? This is the wrong uh, place, I think, anyways. This is the right motor truck? I don't know. Let's go into installation mode and figure that out. Okay, so yes it is. So we're gonna put the drive gear on. There we go. We got that one on that side. We also need to install that little wheel thing. So there we go. We got that one on that side. And finally, just this little rotor thing. So there we go. We repaired that one for him for free, just because we're a nice mechanic, you know. Not gonna screw over our customers here at the Dragas Workshop, so there we go. We got that thing done, and now this should be more or less done. So, finish that order, there we go. 500 smuckaroos, right into my pocket. Unfortunately, we didn't get the bonus for low cost. Now, I'm assuming if we would have been able to actually achieve repairing one of those items, we would have got that bonus, which would have been really nice, obviously. Uh, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Alright guys, well that's gonna wrap it up for this first episode of Train Mechanic Simulator. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of laid-back experience. I really like these games for some reason, and a lot of you guys seem to as well. So if you guys do want to see more of it, let me know in the comments below. Maybe we'll, uh, actually finish up this game. It looks like if we go over... Oh shit, I can't jump. Okay, I guess Train Mechanics can't jump, guys. But if we go over to here, we have... I think that said there was 25 work orders. Yeah, you can see 4 out of 25. I'm assuming just at this warehouse. And there's two other warehouses. So it seems to be like there's 75 maybe... Uh, repairs that we can do. So yeah, once again, if you guys do want to see more of it, let me know in the comments below. Maybe we'll try some of the old classic uh, railroad cars in the next episode. That'd be really fun, I think. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.